everyone this is t set abcd and welcome to another katan video here on my channel so today i'm playing a casual game on this uh, volcano map and uh, yeah so this is the free weekly map this uh, for this uh, week and i'm in the second position i generally like this map especially because it has the fork tiles and in four players it can be quite fun it is basically i think more or less you can consider it as a race to the center because you have the gold tile in the center bro well, black here goes for the ore port i mean begins with the ore port which is surely unexpected here i do get a decent 6 5 10 placement i mean good break good word i no good prefer getting something like 9 5 10 as my second placement uh just double up on my wood and uh, break there's a good chance actually i can get that because yeah i expected black to not go for 9 5 10 here i'm also thinking like there is one benefit of placing your row uh, settlement side by side because then in that case you can connect to get the longest road because generally everybody will be building to 15 roads here but uh, based on my first placement i think 9 5 10 is just my ideal second placement here and it is quite luck based here i mean there are chances you explore something like 11 10 on in the fork tiles which can be very difficult to play with here i can immediately let's actually i'm not okay so friendly robber is active discard limit is 7 and because of that i'll just not build a settlement or else i would have just built a road and a settlement but because the friendly robber is active i'll just build two roads and uh, explore one of the fork tiles four brick is not the ideal tile but it is what it is also i don't i mean i don't think there's any benefit um to exploring the tile that is like here you have 2 and 12 so i don't know if there is any benefit to exploring tiles that are around those numbers maybe uh, looks like yeah maybe it, there isn't any benefit because at this point like exploring an 11 is one of the worst case scenarios also i explore only wood and brick i would have preferred if i would have explored something else and now i have already built five roads so i have the longest road and because i already have the longest road i will just build a settlement there's no point in holding on to cards now because whenever a seven rolls i will be targeted yeah let's see i'm not sure if i'll be getting trades with casual games it is generally a hit or miss yeah if i would have explored on the right i think i would have explored the 8 and the 9 which seems a little better than the 9 4 11 here the only ben the only benefit i'll think over here is i will be getting more wood and brick and that way i can actually just race to the 6 9 in the center
Yeah, surely don't want to give up any break here. I would like to see a few brick rolls on my side. Unfortunately, there haven't been a lot yet. Or there haven't been many yet. And now I'll build. I mean, I could have built on the 911, but the problem is I don't want black to somehow be able to build two roads before I can and plow me. Eights have been rolling quite a bit, so blue has been collecting some brick. Yeah, roll the seven, so most likely the five brick is going to be a block here. Okay, blocks the six brick, which is, I mean, it's the same thing. So yeah, as planned, I'll just continue to try and get to 695 in the fastest way possible. A couple of fives would be excellent because I get wood and brick. I'll accept any one is to two here. Uh, one is to one doesn't help me much, so there's no point in accepting that trade. Quite a few threes have rolled as well. Yeah, threes continue to roll here. And I lose out on a break because it is blocked. Yeah, not much that I can do. I actually don't want force to roll either because few eights have rolled. I know blue has bricks in hand. So if a four rolls, blue will be getting wood and they will be building towards the nine five uh, six nine five in the center. Yeah, three bricks lost here. I could have had a settlement by now. Here I think black also will target me. Maybe blocks the 10 wheat. Okay, solo blocks orange. I'm not sure what the plan is there. Well, and blue accepts a two is to one. I think black is quite happy to explore the six break. Here I will accept a break, right? Because it helped, so now, it makes it a little easier for me to just build a road settlement. Okay, so I already have the road that I need. I need a nine to roll so I can get my settlement. Let's see. So I can actually do a four is to one, but if I get this trade, I'll be more than happy. Blue accepts it. So that is perfect because this way I can get the 695 on the top, build a single road and get 694 as well. I will have two settlements on the gold tile. And also blue cannot get to the 695 now. Blue needs to build to 6510. 
Okay, so feels like black is just trying to get a city at this point. Okay, I get a nine roll, which is pretty good because this basically gives me another road settlement. Yeah, I surely don't want to accept any trades here. Because Okay, I was hoping blue doesn't get any trades and then I could have built two roads and blocked blue from getting to any of the gold tiles. Let's see if anybody accepts this trade. This will again give me two roads and a settlement. So nobody else can build on the gold tile if this trade goes through. So yeah, I have basically secured the gold tile and all the roads that blue built is are now wasted. And here immediately I am able to actually i'll focus on getting a city so let's just get two weeds here so now uh, there are few quite a few roles that give me a city and uh, here i can also get a sheep and i'll go for another weed in an attempt to get a settlement and a city this turn. So for me to get a settlement or a city, I need an, I mean, any role will help me. A five helps me. Let's see. Blue has a road builder. I would say that is a little unfortunate because on this board wow well, a little unfortunate like i did not get any of the roles i had quite a few roles to get a city there but i'll just buy a dev card let's see i mean 15 vps needed to win that's a long way away roll the seven so black and orange both lose out on a few cards i think the six gold tile is going to be an obvious target yeah it does block that no surprises there to be honest Uh, yeah, this doesn't help me here. Let's see if I can get a 1 is to 2 maybe. Okay, gets a 1 is to 1 with blue. Another 10 and I can get a city. 9 is fine as well. Basically, can I get a settlement and a city here? I can offer a trade. Let's see if I get it. Okay, black accepts it so that is the settlement and I'll get my city as well sorry that is the city and I get my settlement as well here now I start just need to start buying dev cards right because I would want to take army here. Nobody else has bought any dev cards yet. I don't think so. I'll be holding on to road. I'm pretty sure orange and black will fight it out and take it sooner or later. Here I lose out on three cards because the six is blocked. Yeah, not much that I can do. So because I know I will not be holding on to road for too long let's just explore new tiles i get a break which doesn't help me here i'll offer a trade i don't think any will go through yeah, i might just have to end my turn with eight cards in hand 
yeah with black having 19 cards black i think will be able to take road here yeah looks like black is also going to plow blue yeah and takes road 10 is a pretty good roll for me so i will be able to do a forest to one and get a settlement oh sorry get another city but do i need a city here i think i need dev cards more than a city i do get a knight which is pretty good for me and uh, I can stop black from getting the longest road. Like if I can build a road settlement here, black will lose their longest road immediately. But for now I cannot do anything. Yeah, black is getting these cities quite easily. I mean, threes have been rolling quite a bit. Yeah, dust target black. I am completely okay with that. Now I would want a six to roll. And if a six rolls, I'll just go for two wheats and a sheep and just focus on buying dev cards. Yeah, roll a nine. So my best case scenario is just do a four is to one and buy a dev card. I get another VP. I'm not sure if I'm too happy with it. I mean, VPs will help me, but at this point it will, it is making a me, making it a little more difficult for me to fight for army. Okay, so I think here will block the nine or should not be targeting me at least. Maybe I have three dev cards, right? So might consider me, but yeah, does block the nine or targets black. I don't mind that at all. Okay, I think yeah, red will solo surely block me because I have targeted red quite a bit uh, sorry uh, blue quite a bit here i will play my knight at this point i still target black i believe wow but with these cards in hand there is nothing that i can do Yeah, I'm offering all bunch of trades. I might just have to end my turn with nine cards in hand, which is unfortunate. Yeah, although sevens haven't rolled in quite some time, but I think uh, I need a six here. At least the eight block here hurts black a little. Yeah. Surely need a six to roll or else it is going to be a very, very difficult game for me. Because I'm unable to get any settlements, not getting any cities either. Okay, with that five. I mean, I can still just buy a dev card. 
I do get a knight. I'll actually give up all my cards here just to buy another dev card. Yeah, I'm getting two knights here. So if orange doesn't play a knight, I will be able to take a lead in the race for army at least. I mean, it all depends on black, right? If black can win the game before that happens. Yeah, black has taken away the settlement spot that I had here. So yeah, the plan to take road did not work out because I did not get any rolls in my favor. It's been a long time since a six hasn't rolled. And yeah, orange also plays a knight. So here, I mean, six is due. So let's me play that and I will buy another dev card. Doesn't help me much here getting that knight. So because of that seven, maybe the game lasts one more turn. Yeah, orange takes army. Should be targeting black and uh, i'll play my knight as well in an attempt to at least fight for army and with black having secured the road now it is very difficult for anyone else to do anything yeah there is absolutely nothing i can do with these cards i mean i can build a road but it doesn't help me much finally a six I'd say it is a little too late, but I mean, black here can have a monopoly, play it on wheat and still win the game. Yeah, I expected that. So on this turn, actually, I will be taking army, getting a settlement and a city, but still I don't win the game. Okay. So. Here I get my Yeah, I think I mean I can get the settlement that I was thinking about play my knight take army I get a wheat But what can I do with it? I think I can just buy another dev card, right? I get a road builder, which is absolutely useless here. A seven would be perfect. Okay. Doesn't roll a seven. So yeah, I think it's game over. Black just gets the city to win the game. Actually black already has all cities, four cities and one, two, three, four settlements. So black needs to pull a VP or cannot win the game. Okay. Just pulls the VP then. Yeah, it was close in the end. I needed a few sixes once I got a city there. It did not happen. And black got lucky with Monopoly as well. 
yeah black just had good production yeah threes rolled quite a bit overall it's just a fun game yeah anyway uh bye for now and see you again in the next video bye bye